Oh gosh, that's a big one, dude. Get the net? Yeah, get the freaking net. Dude, this is huge. Oh my gosh, Bradley. Dude, this might be my PB. I'm not even kidding. This might be my PB. That's a bad. I, dude, look at how he's running. That's not a mud fish, is it? There's no way. Look at this. Holy dude, cow. Bradley, this fish is, dude, this might be my PB. Oh my God, no, 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 no. Dude, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. Oh my God. On this, on this is it a bass? I think so. Oh my God, dude. It's Get that fish in the net! Oh! Oh! <laughs> What is poppin' people? Welcome back to another video. We are out on the boat today. We're gonna be filming a freaking banger. I'm so excited to be out on the river today. I got my boy Bradley with me. He's been down at college. He hasn't came back. By the way, Bradley created a channel. I don't know if I told you guys. It's BDR Fishing. You guys need to go check him out and uh, go give him a subscribe. I'll link his channel down below. But we're gonna be trying to catch some big old bass today on the river. It is very low today. And I'm curious to see how the bass are gonna be biting. The last time I came out here was the tournament. And by the way, if you guys haven't seen the tournament video, I suggest you go watch it. Um, we had a lot of fun, had a good little tournament. And um, overall, it's a really great video. So go check it out. But if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Let's go ahead and get to our first spot, see what we're gonna do, show you guys what we're throwing. And uh, more importantly, go catch some fish so let's get started all right so we made it to our first spot today we're gonna be trying it out like i said the river's so low just riding it a second ago is kind of it's a little sketch man we got in a few little spots that were very shallow and now the sun's gonna peek through the trees again come on brad come on intern brad get me in the right spot this is intern brad by the way you guys already know intern brad what's up intern what's, brad oh how are y'all doing today <laughs> i'm do, actually doing pretty well it's so funny seeing intern brad um vlog no, go no gopro on what are you doing <laughs> Wait, that is the funniest thing ever. I saw, look, I had this angle, so I actually thought you were recording, and I just turned and there's not even a GoPro on his chest. It's on the dash. <laughs> it's on the dash. That is hilarious. So, Brad, what are we doing today, man? We're going to film a video catching giant river bass. Hopefully. But the river's really low, and it's super... Like, this lake is usually like 10 foot and it's only like 6. That's how low it is. But, um, we're gonna go ahead and hop into it. We're gonna stop talking, start fishing, and see if we can catch some big ones. If we don't catch them in here, we're gonna go into some other, uh, shallower lakes. You know, this, the, this lake's a lot deeper than a lot of them. So, we're gonna experiment. Listen to that water dropping, man. It's kinda cool, man. It's kinda cool. Gotta love nature. Gotta love life. This is living life right here, guys. Get yourself in the outdoors. Get on the water. This is what it's about. Alright, let's get it started. What, um, you going first? No. well, this is my, I got a problem, Brad. You got a problem. Um, okay. Um, I got, what that chatter don't, really? that's what I'm about to do. So I'm going to tie, I'm going to tie right here. We got a pro TI on a mock crush. We're going to put a chatter bait on this one. And then we got our crankbait rod. We're going to keep that the same. This one, I'm going to keep the same as well with the Texas rig. I think that's going to be perfect. And then we got a little walking bait on that rod. I don't even think we're going to have to worry about that one. But, um, Jumped yeah. Nice. I'm not throwing a walking bait today. Oh, oh, my bad. I don't know. I might. I don't know if they'll eat it or not. But let's go ahead and rig up, get on the water, catch fish. I just yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. You're looking good. What's up? You got to find my name. Here he is. Uh -huh. Get him, Brad. Get him, Brad. What? I got him. He's on there. <laughs> I swear. He was on there. <laughs> what, what in the world did you hook, son? I hooked him in the tree. Is he still on? I hope so. You were reeling something in, or you were just reeling down some fishing line. <laughs> Bradley is totally playing with us right now. He's got a massive tree pounder. That is awesome, dude. That's what I like about the river, guys. You, you come out here, it's a whole different animal. That Look at that, man. That's, that's, that's living life. Bro, I could film the whole video with that sound effect right there. By the way, old Brad's filming with a dash cam, so that'd be pretty cool. We, we could possibly get some cool looking angles in here. Brad, we're about to smoke them. Old Brad. Old Brad. Old Brad. All right, I haven't fished in like five days because the weather's been really weird, so excuse my horrible casting for the first five minutes of this episode. Oh my god. <laughs> what? It was actually pretty good. The sad part is you wouldn't say that was pretty good if that was actually supposed to be a skip. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally not. kidding. I might not been good. But this is gonna take a minute for me to get used to. Should we get on some trees? Yeah. That was decent. 
decent. It's horrible, Brad. If it ain't perfect, then it's horrible. Oh my gosh, dude. Knock slack in my line. He like knocked slack in my line and then he just let it go. That was a hard hit. Oh. It's a bass. Yes, I did, sir. He's not exactly what we want. But that, that is a fish. You're correct on that, sir. I did not tell him to sit, but he was a polite boy. Woo! Chill out, Jimbo. This is a really small guy. He bit it like a little brim. And then I hook set and it was kind of solid. I'm like, what? Look how small that bass is, guys. But that was our first fish today. You always got to get the first one in the boat. It does not matter what size it is. And we're going to continue to hunt for these big ones. That's a good sign. I know he wasn't much, guys. But um, trust me, when you get bites yeah. as a whole on the river, that they give you a little sign. So we're going to keep on controlling it now keep on controlling it what am i saying keep on covering some water um one thing that i actually did too i didn't talk to you guys about i had a clout on and i switched it over to a stroker crawl with a little bit more movement you know it's got those little tails fluttering and uh it could be a key to that bite right there so i'm gonna keep on throwing it and see if we can get some more on it we just got over to these cypress trees is looking pretty good so now we just got to cover some water and uh try to find those big dogs Oh my gosh, what is going on? Catching the smallest fish today, man. But it really shows how like I'm using like a low profile bait and you're using a crawl and you're getting twice the amount of bites I'm getting. Yep, there's one, th one thing, I'm just gonna let him go, he spiked the heck out of me. How I just said before, I took off the clout. Um, Bradley is throwing a worm too, it's fairly, fairly big, big profile. Um, this is actually smaller profile and it has some vibration to it as well because of those little pinchers on the crawl so um it seems like they want something a little bit of vibration with a little bit of movement so if i catch another fish before bradley what he's going to end up doing is switching over to a crawl style bait um that's usually what we do you know if somebody's catching if he started smacking them on that big worm and he caught two or three four fish you know i'd have to switch over to that just because that's what they want and like i said the fish are going to speak to you as long as you go out there with an open mind and you're both trying something different. You're, you're gonna figure out what those fish want. So right now it seems like they want that crawl, which has that flutter, and a little bit of movement. And they might be wanting this crawl because you know I'm lifting it up over those branches and it flutters down and those little tiny crawls are just flickering. That's something to pay attention to. But let's go ahead and keep on covering some water and uh, hopefully find some bigger ones because those are not the fish that we wanna catch today. You would've won if you got them about a big That's a good one. There we go. You got him? Yeah. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, that's a really good one. Oh, another one. Really? Look in there, yeah. Catch him. Nice. That's a nice river bass, man. Beautiful. Look at that. Right there on the stroker curl. Now we're getting somewhere. We're getting it's somewhere. Nothing, you know, it's it's not, nothing to brag about, but I mean. About, but I mean, that's, that's a good little upgrade to get the day started. I love how these fish are just so fat and, and chunky. That's the awesome thing about these river bass, but pretty fish, he slammed that crawl right there. And me and Bradley were talking about it. We fished this whole bank coming down. And they were like, we want to come back because this is the thing on the river. Sometimes they hone in on certain areas and the fish really stack up. So, you know, we might not have a bite on this whole bank and then we come on this bank and catch 10 fish. You know, that's the possibility. So something to pay attention to. We're really going to slow down now, start pitching around some of these cypress trees, try to catch some more of the quality of the fish. Let's get him back in the water. Pretty little bass. Old stroker crawl. Now I see the importance of grabbing the big camera every fish. Why? Oh, it's so much better. It is. I'm like, not knowing. I want you guys to know. This is something we can ask the people, Brad, since you brought it up. Do you guys like the big camera in the video? I obviously can't do that when I'm by myself. But do you like the big camera? Like, once you hook set on the GoPro and then we switch to the big camera, let me know if you guys like that. Leave your thoughts down below. Is 
That's a bass. Another good one. They're on this bank, if you don't mind. There we go. That was, if I got that. <laughs> Is it cool? <laughs> Too cool for school. Another nice bass. We should have kept our best. We should have. Yeah. We should have. But, all right, if we if we start to catch some twos, we'll start keeping them. Yeah. That'd be fair. And we'll kind of see what our best five are today. What do you hate when they do this type of stuff, man? It's like... Your like, tongue. It's a good fish. Good. Yeah, it's another good one. Pretty river bass. You guys got to understand about the river. It's tough. Like, these are some, you know, decent fish. The river's tough. You know, it's not like a lake where you're going to go out and catch a lot of four or five pounders. It's not how the river is. You know, when you catch one of those, it's so rewarding though. That is something I wanted to talk about too. Every time I say rewarding, the GoPros stop recording. Is that not messed up? Now it's going to start recording. So anyways, we're going to get this fish back in the water. Um, pretty one right there. Second decent fish, fourth bass, fifth fish overall. Let's get her back in. We just got to find those giants now. Well, there we go, guys. We got two fish on the side of the bank so far. Three fish overall, two bass, um, and they're a lot better than the ones we caught on the other side. Like I said, I think the fish are gonna bite this crawl. Bradley's actually putting one on right now. If you guys do wanna get a 10% off on the stroker crawls, I'll pop my coat up on the screen. This one's in a Nirvana, so it's pretty much a split half and half. Has green pumpkin on one side, black and blue on the other, three eighth ounce weight, and a 3 aught EWG hook. You can also get away with a 4 aught We're just going to keep on covering water on these cypress trees. We've had a few good bites, and um, hopefully we're going to find some that are even bigger. This is fun. You got to love pitching around these cypress trees, man. This is some of the most fun that I have fishing, rather than fishing deep water. I love fishing ledges and deep brush piles, ditches. Dude, they are freaking loaded, Brad. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. I just knocked him out. <laughs> Almost got him with the knockout. I got me a little squeaker. This is smaller than the last two, but another decent fish. They're loaded here. Bradley had a bite. He just tied it on first cast. Stroker crawls getting it done. Short little fat guy, but uh, pretty bass, needless to say. Let's get back in there. This is fun, man. You gotta love it, especially on a hot day today. This is the thing. When it's hot outside and you're not getting bites, it's really tough, but when it's hot outside and you're getting bites, it's even it makes better. it a little bit easier. Let's get it, Brad. Let's get it. It's hot. We're getting one step closer to finding the big bass. Pretty much, this is my rig, like I just talked about. Got our crawl. So we have that green pumpkin on one side, black and blue on the other. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm rigging this because you can choose what side you wanna go on the inside or the outside. Not many people talk about this. This color can be good and dirty and clear water. Um, I wouldn't say crystal clear water. I probably wouldn't use this one, but dirty and clear water, it can work. So this is what I'm gonna do. If I'm fishing dirty water, I am going to have the black and blue facing out, okay? If I'm fishing clear water, I'm gonna have the green pumpkin facing out. It's always what I've done. Like I said, there's no rules to fishing. It's just something that I do. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna penetrate the green pumpkin edge, slider bait up on top. Liner bait up, figure out where we need to penetrate the hook. Go right through it, bury the end of the hook. Right there, we got a weedless hook. And we have the green pumpkin on the back side, black and blue on the front, just like that. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Brad. What is that? A fish? <laughs> is that a bass? <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, Brad. Oh, you got this. I'm rooting for you. We got one. I got, I got a bite. I got a bite. Get him. Don't don't wait too long. Get him. You got him? Yeah, I got him. Yeah, baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, buddy. Sit. 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 Oh my goodness! How does that work? <laughs> I swear I got I some. I got one. <laughs> Why does that work, bro? Every time I say sit, <laughs> yo, got a double. <laughs> Not much, but something. That was so funny. Every time I say sit, you got to say it aggressively. Yours are bigger than mine. They're just Twinkies. They really are. They're oh, all. I was going down for that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it just ticks me off. Like a lot of people just don't even know. Holy shit. No oh, way. God. 
Goes Dude, off. that was crazy. I thought I had a freaking hoss. Dude, he hit it so hard and started running with it. Look at that, guys. That's a decent little fish. <laughs> that was crazy. That was insane. That buddy, was, that guy was running. Let's keep her going, man. That was a good little sign. I think we'll catch a few more here. Just came to a new spot instantly. Boom. Another fish jumping, whatever the heck that is. It was just the way he hit it and the moment when I hook set, he was already like under the boat. I got <gasps> oh, dude, that's insane. Oh, dude, that is so crazy. It's a mud. I gotta get this thing Jesus, out. Brad, that was cool. I thought I had a jump. I did too. Oh. That was bad. That was bad. I saw it. Did you see him? Probably about a 10 pounder. A giant bass. You saw that, right? <laughs> oh, I don't even know what to say. That was a bass, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. No, he was at least five pounds. I saw his mouth. Dude, you should have felt him hit that too. That was the hardest hit all day. It was just. Boom. That's how that's going I already used a pack of these crawls. Searching for giant bass, boys. That's what happens every freaking time. Oh, man. He hit it so hard. Oh, gosh. That's a big one, dude. Get the net? Yeah, get the freaking net. Dude, this is huge. Oh, my gosh, Bradley. Dude, this might be my PB. I'm not even kidding. This might be my PB. That's a bass. Uh, dude, look at how he's running. That's not a mud fish, is it? There's no way. Look at this. Holy dude, cow. Bradley, this fish no. is, dude, this might be my PB. I gotta chase him down. Don't let him get hung up now. Don't let him pop it now. Oh my God, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Just net him. I don't know what it is. Dude, this is the biggest fish I've ever caught. Oh my God. On this, on this is it a bass? I think so. Oh my god, dude. It's, I don't know. Alright, I'm getting him up to the net. <gasps> Yo, it's a cat! Get that fish in the net! Oh, 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 oh. Dude, that is the biggest catfish I've ever caught! Oh my gosh, that was the craziest fight I've ever had. Oh my gosh, dude. That was so... I've been wanting to get into catfishing too, and I just... Noah just caught an absolute river donk. Look at that. That is a river monster if we know of one. And that is awesome, guys. I'm not too familiar with catfishing. Just to catch one of these, I actually have to, I had to ask Bradley. I've never, like, held a big catfish before. Um, and I just put my, I'm just holding them like a bass. But Bradley holds them. How did you say you hold them? I hold them behind the fins. But that is a big fish right there. That was one of the craziest fights I've ever had on the river. And, man, I really thought I had my PB for a second there. But that is a beautiful catfish. I'd say he's over, he's over 10 pounds because we weighed one a couple weeks ago. That was nine and a half. This fish is close to 10 to 15 pounds. That is awesome right there on the river, on a stroker crawl. We're going to get a picture and get him back in the water. All right, guys. Noah's about to get a release on this donkey fish right here. I mean, this thing is huge. I'm just going to drop You sure you don't want to take it home and eat it? Nah. You good? That would be a cool catch and cook. Maybe we'll do that in the future, though. Let me know if you guys want to see a catch and cook, but we're going to let this beautiful fish go. Give me some. Gosh, dude, that was so much fun. Guys, look, I, I, all right, I want to have a talk. We're going to sit down. This is time to have a talk. So you guys know, like, I love bass fishing. Like, that's all I do. And um, everybody's been saying, no, why don't you catch other species and, like, try other things. And since we filmed two catfish videos in the last month, I've been, like, really passionate about wanting to learn how to catch catfish. And so um, I want to go out and start catfishing. If you guys want to see a catfish video on the river, me and Bradley have come out and, uh, you're also talking about jug fishing too. Set some jugs out. We can do a bunch of cool things. If you guys want to see that, hit that like button. Get this video to 10,000 likes. Let me know that you guys want to see some catfish videos and I would love to do it. But that was one of the craziest fights I've ever had while fishing. That was a lot of fun, but we're going to keep on going see if we can catch some big bass now. It's a little higher down there. Seems really high though. 
There's no way. Dude, that's a bass. No way. See the net? Oh gosh. <laughs> that's a three. Oh yeah. Dude, what is going on? Today's just an awesome day. He ain't quite three. He's yeah. high too. High too. Holy cow, dude, I threw it in there. I was popping it and he just started pulling the rod. I went up and he was just tugging. That's a good river bass, man. That is a beautiful one. Look at that. That's probably two and three, two and a half, two and three quarters. Yeah. Stay safe. That's a good fish, man. Good fish. Like this on the river, guys, I want you guys to understand. I was like, limited you gotta win like this is like a four or five pounder on any other lake out here on the river. Honestly, probably bigger. That's a good fish though. It's a beautiful bass. We don't want to keep him. No. Okay. I'll let you fish it out. All right, guys. So if you didn't see that beautiful catch Noah just had, I, I just don't know. Like this man is completely whacking on today. It happens, man. Now Brad's gonna get up on the front and see if he can catch him a bass. <laughs> Dude, I haven't fished the last couple of days. So you know I fish almost every day. And this has made today almost way more enjoyable just because I haven't fished in a second. I'm sorry, Bradley. I'm, I had to do it. I'm sorry, dude. I saw it. You know when you, I think this was the fish that had you. I saw where he went. I saw, <laughs> I was like, I gotta try it. I, did, I saw you didn't throw in there. I was like, I gotta do it. And you caught him. <laughs> Dang it, Brad. I'm trying. Ooh. 